Hi, this is Miss D D Special Things. I wanted to show you how to use wall sheets with your toner prints without a laminator. Um, now I did one, and I want to show it to you. It wasn't perfect. Um, I did have some spots, but I think it's because I left it on too long. You may want to play with it. If you do not have a laminator, I actually did some other ones. Some of them, as you can see, it missed spots. Um, it's not super perfect. Now, mind you, I have the mink. I have about three laminators. This is the goal, and I didn't put, I missed a spot there, but the goal, the glitter, you have to do it differently. Um, you have to put the um, the image face down on the glitter. This one I overheated, as you can see, and I overheated that one. So I'm going to try this one, and I'm using an iron. Okay, I was just thinking if all it needed was heat, then I should be good. If all it needed was heat, I didn't need a laminator. I'm actually using a piece of deli paper to adhere, I mean to put the foil and the image in. I have the iron set at the highest temperature. It's at steam, but I do not have water in it. You don't want water in it. So I just have it at the highest temperature because I needed it to be at the highest temperature. I've done it a couple of times and what I'm actually doing is looking at it to see if by chance it's picking up those images. This is one that I did with the whole piece. Um, I'm not certain how long you need to leave this on here. I did this one. I can still see some of the some of the little black pieces, but it's still foiled. This is a gold one. And if all you're using is an iron, you can pretty much get most of that image on there. And this is without having to pay the sixty or seventy dollars, even more than that, some of them for the laminator. Use your iron. Okay, so this is, I think I'm going to be finished with this one. I'm going to let it cool off a bit. And in a minute, I'll take that off. I used some of the foil sheets that came with the, um, with the mink. And I also used these foil sheets, the deco foil sheets by iCraft. Yeah, so right now this is what I'm using. So I want to show you this image. Hopefully everything will come out right. Yeah, I see it didn't pick up all of the images. But for the most part, it picked up most of them. So I'm going to take this and put it back in here. And do it one more time. Yeah, just lift it a little. Don't pick it up all the way because you want to make sure all of the foil adhered before you pick, pick it up. It's not a perfect process, but if you don't have a laminator, it is the next best thing. I don't know. I just had a... Duh. Wait a minute. I think this can work with heat. Yes, and as you see, the more I do it, the more it's adhering to it. I'm going to do it one more time on this side. Now, what I did for my surface, I took some regular chipboard and just set it down. So, that's what I'm ironing on top of. Yeah. So, I think that's going to be it. I'm going to let this cool one second here, yeah, and then I'm going to pull it off. And I think for the most part, it did get all of it or most of it. Yeah, so give that a try. And you can actually foil 
without a laminator. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. And I'm going to come back later with a tip that I got from someone making toner paste using toner. And you'll probably, probably need something over your face because I'm thinking this is probably toxic. But, uh, yeah, so I'll come back later and show you exactly what I do with that. I hope this helps. I hope this little tip helps. If you try it, uh, let me see what you did. Okay, thanks a lot, everyone, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.